Tech, AI in particular, is about understanding. But it doesn't know the understanding until you've taught it. And uh, the best AI is AI that's been trained well, yeah. you know, which is why we're in the training data business. Yeah, right. One of the things about LXT, we've, we did a public launch of the company in September. Yes. Before that moment, nobody really knew who we were. So I joined the company in January, started working on what we would have called a rebrand, yes. except we had no brand. Right. So it's not really a rebrand. <laughs> we, we were really starting from scratch. But in the background, LXT has been working with biggest names in the industry for 11 years. Okay, how can training data partner accelerate AI initiatives and what should you be looking for? So if somebody says, I need an AI training data partner, what is the right thing for someone to look for? And they would say, okay, this is kind of the metrics that matter most when it comes to a partner in AI training data. Look, I think most people, you've probably heard it in the, during the course of the day today, most people that are working in this AI space have global ambition. Um, you hear people saying, we've got this happening in 30 languages, we've got this happening in 80 countries, okay? And that's a lot of, different data sets that you need to make it work in different markets, different languages, different dialects, different accents. So um, a strong training data partner is somebody that can cover the globe and make it work. Mm. Somebody that can, where you can go to somebody and say, um, we've got this great product for US English, but our sales guys really see a big market in Kazakhstan. How are you guys for Kazakh? And we're like, no problem. Mm. You know, are you okay for doing um, Mandarin Chinese? Yeah. Can you do Thai? Are you okay with the writing system? Yeah, no problem. That's, that's one of the things that you really look for in a partner. Can they do everything for you? Um, you might find local partners in Finland who can do a great job on Finnish, but they can't help you with anything else. Right. That's a headache in the making because you've got to train them show them how to uh, deal with global issues. Um, but, well, you sorry, no, you've got to train them on how to do this, and then you've got to train somebody else next door for Danish and somebody else for Estonian. Makes sense. And, you know, and, and that's, that's a, a recipe for high risk. Okay. You know, somewhere along the way, somebody's going to drop the ball. Right. If you've got one partner that understands the whole planet and can give it to you, then you know that you're going to get the same quality for... Oriya, you know, fringe language of India, as you are for French. Right. Well, I could keep asking you questions, but let's think as a wrap, a call to action. So somebody gets to tune in to part of our conversation. It intrigues them. Maybe they're a decision maker at a global 2000 company, and they say, well, okay, what do I do? I mean, how do I reach out to LXT, and who do I talk to? So is it you? Do they... Reach out to you. Oh or yeah, the reach out to me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's a great idea. <laughs> yeah, I mean, reach out to the company. It's going to find its way to me. Okay. Uh, we're we're still small. Um, we're building a great sales and marketing team. Great. Uh, we've already got a stunning operations team. Uh, okay. But yeah, reach out to me. That's a great idea. Good. Thank you, Ian. Well, we're glad that you came. Thanks. <laughs> me for too, us. Ian. It's, it was a pleasure meeting you, and great you to too. talk to you about some topics that I'm passionate about. Okay.